Hello everyone. Thanks for the overwhelming response you have given to trick number 24 in which I discussed writing tables from 11 to 99 in a single line. Now actually the methods which are given in Vedic mathematics books were so popular ages ago that the students of that time used to develop mental skills, used to carry out calculations mentally only. But as time passed, these Vedic methods were left out in the books only. And in the current uh, curriculum at school level, we do not have Vedic methods in mathematics curriculum. This is posing a very big problem for parents, for teachers, because they have resorted to longer methods of doing calculations which students are cramming up and they are facing problems when they grow up. So this method which I am going to discuss today is concerned with division which the child learns from the basic level and they do the traditional division method that is a long division in which they consume half the page in carrying out one single calculation of division and that too not by 100% accuracy. So parents also feel a lot of problem in uh, dealing with division problems, uh, making the students understand the concept of division. So this Vedic method is discussed in this trick number 25 today, where in Vedic books it is mentioned that the division is to be carried out in one line. Yes, in a single line. So I am demonstrating today one line division by Vedic method. First I will take division by a single digit. Say I am taking the example of 759 to be divided by, I will take any random uh, single digit number say 4. So instead of writing the traditional division sign like this, where we write the divisor here and the dividend here. I am just writing the division sign as this. So this is the divisor and this is the dividend. Now we have to tell students to carry out mental division like this. Like we have the single digit here which is greater than the divisor. So 4 ones are 4. So that 4 is to be remembered in mind and now 7 minus 4 will give us 3. So that 3 is to be written in between 7 and 5 here. Now we have this 5 here. So 3 and 5 becomes 35. Now we have to count the table of 4 till we reach below 35. So 4 8s are 32. So we are left behind with 3 again. So we write 3 here. So it becomes 39. So again we count the table of 4, 4 nines are 36, again we are left behind with 3 but we do not have any further digits here so the remainder is 3. So this is the quotient and this is the remainder. So if this type of division is done in schools at the basic level, I think students will be doing mental subtraction also and they will not be consuming time in dividing numbers also. So those basic skills have to be uh, inculcated in the students right from the basic level. So I'm taking one more example of a single digit uh, divisor. So we have 3, 2, 7, 8, 5 and we have to divide this by another single digit. So I'll take a uh, bigger digit now, 9. Carry out in the same manner as we did here, 9, 3 is a so we have 32 here because 3 is smaller than 9 so we take 2 digits. So 32 and 9 3 is a 27 so we are left behind with 5. So this 5 we will write between 32 and 7 because we have consumed 32. Now it becomes 57. 5 and 7 57. So now count the table of 9 until we reach below 57. 9 6 is a 54. So we are left behind with 3, this 3 we write here, now it becomes 38, 38, so 9 4s are 36, left behind with 2, 
so it becomes 25 so 9 2 is a 18 left behind with 7 as the remainder so this is the quotient and this is the remainder so this is one step division carried out through the Vedic method Vedic method does not consume time and saves a lot of energy and also motivates the child to rely on mental calculations rather than doing all the calculations on the paper. Now uh, let us have uh, the single digit division uh, using this decimals where the quotient is obtained in decimals. We don't have to find the remainder where rather we carry on the calculation uh, and arrive at the result in decimals. So now I am taking one example. Say we have 759 this number and uh, it has to be divided by 4. Now obviously 4 is an even number, this is an odd number so it is not an exact multiple of 4. So the answer will be in decimals. So now we carry out the same calculations like this but the uh, dividend here now will have z uh, put, put a decimal here and we will have some zeros as many zeros as we want because after decimal the zeros do not count. Now carry on the division as it is. So 7, 5, 9 divided by 4. So 4, 1 is a 4. 7 minus 4 is 3 we write here. So this is 35. So 4, 8 is a 32. 3, 3 we write here. 39. So 4, 9 is a 36. Left behind with 3. So with 3, 3 we write here. And now we have, we have crossed the decimal place. So this decimal will have to carry forward in the quotient also. Now this is 30. So 4, 7 is a 28. Left behind with 2, 2, 20, 4, 5 is a 20. So this is the exact quotient which is found in one line. Now if we practice this method division by a single digit, we can carry on this method, practice it and we can solve problems of division by two digit numbers also. So uh, let us have one more example of a two digit number now. Say we have to divide 7, 2, 5, 4 by 13. Now here also it the dividend is quite large and the traditional method will consume say 7 or 8 lines. Now if we apply the Vedic method here, so 13 5 is a 65, we have 72 here because 7 is smaller than 13, so we take 2 digits here, 72, 13 5 is a 65, left behind with 7, so 7 we write between 72 and 5 because we have consumed 72. Now it is 75. So again 13 5 is a 65, so we are left behind with 10, so 10 we write between 5 and 4, so it becomes 104 and 104 is an exact multiple of 13, 13 is a 104, so we are left behind with nothing and the quotient is 558, so this is 2 digit division. Now one more example we will have uh, where we will we'll carry out division by a two digit and get the answer in decimals. Now say we, we are taking the example of 95328 95328 and we divide this by say 17. Now again the dividend is very large so the traditional method will consume lot of lines, lot of energy time. Now single line division of this. 17, uh, uh, 9 is obviously smaller than 17, so we have to take 95. So 17, 5 is a 85. We are left behind with 10. 10 we write between 95 and 3. So this becomes 103. Now 103, 17, 6 times is 102. So we are left behind with 1 which we write between 3 and 2 here. So we have we have now 12. Now this 12 
is smaller than 17 and we have take, already taken one digit from here. So we need to put one zero and carry forward the remaining digit 8 also. So now uh, carry on the division as usual. So we have 17 into 7 which is 119 closer to 128. So 7 is 119 we left behind with 9 left behind with 9 so 9 now we, if you want to carry out the calculation further we need to put one decimal and zeros as many zeros as required by us the number of decimal places we require in quotient accordingly we put number of zeros so now we had 9 so 9 we put here it becomes 90 so 17 5 is 85 again so 5 5 we put here, 50, 17, 2 is 34 and likewise you can carry on this calculation for as many as digits of decimal you required in the quotient. So students, teachers, parents, kindly use division by Vedic method from the base, from the starting so that the students do not rely on long traditional methods of division but rely on their mental skills for carrying out division and making maths a joy to learn. So keep learning, keep enjoying, share and subscribe the video if you like it.